In March of 1998, an Akadoches man came home to find four young people burglarizing his home. He shot one, but the homeowner was then brutally murdered. Well, now one man sits on death row with less than 24 hours to live while his friends rally trying to save his life. Iowans News anchor Melanie Lawson talked with the man about the ultimate price being paid and what it means to two families. Christian Oliver has spent most of his adult life on death row. He was only 21 when he was convicted of murder. It's all kind of surreal, really. You know, I'm going to die tomorrow, so, you know, it's just uh, hard to get a grip around it. Oliver's admitted to shooting 64-year-old Joe Collins while burglarizing his home. Two juvenile accomplices claim he also beat Collins to death. They served only a few years. His pregnant girlfriend who drove got life. But Oliver says he did not kill Collins. Do you ever think about the victim's family and, and uh, how they may be feeling now? I pray for them every day. Um, I know they, they probably have wished that this would have been done a long time ago. The Collins family will be at Oliver's execution. So will his parents, who have visited him every week for 11 years, including today. I wasn't sure, really, if my mother would be able to handle it. And certainly I don't want to put her through anything that, you know, she can't handle or doesn't want to go through. So I just left it up to them. Kermit and Katie Oliver are both well-known artists, and supporters like Houston dealer Jerry Hooks have flooded the governor's office with pleas to change Christian's sentence to life. All court appeals have been denied. Have you made peace in the event that there are no more appeals for you? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm not at all uncomfortable about, you know, passing away. Uh, I'm a very spiritual person. I've been raised all my life that way. And uh, it's just a part of life. Everybody's got to go someday. Tonight, which could be his last, he says he'll write letters thanking all those who tried to save him. And he'll pray. Uh, for relief from my uh, sins. Melanie Lawson, 13, Eyewitness News. Oliver now has only two options, the U.S. Supreme Court or Governor Rick Perry commuting his sentence to life in prison. If neither happens, he will die tomorrow evening.